Hi everybody, this is Susie and it's so great to be back. Um, I'll be recording videos uh, slowly but this is my first video returning back uh, online and um, I just want to say thank you so much all of you for all your messages and support throughout the past couple of months. I know I've been absent from online and missing all of you terribly as you missing me and it made me feel amazing. Um, again, I appreciate all of the letters and all of my Wild Orca Crafts Wild Bunch fans. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of your support and your kind words. In the meantime, let's get on with my first return project. I made something extra special for my first uh, project back online fully. And um, something extra special highlighting the Wild Orchid Craft flowers. Uh, it's just, just a tiny story behind this that I need to tell you before I begin. Um, this item is actually a home decor item that my husband picked up for me in some store and he bought it for me about four months ago and I wasn't well enough to actually do something with it like I wanted to. So um, I wanted to uh, alter uh, the item that he had gotten for me. Uh, and I wound up saving just to show you uh, what was on this thing. And th these are some, some of the fabric that I ripped off of it, um, which it's actually a wine bottle holder. And um, it, it ca some trim or whatever was on it. So without further ado, I'm so excited to introduce you to this most amazing project that I've made in quite some time and this is a Victorian style slash Marie Antoinette slash uh, drastic bridal type of thing uh, which is an altered uh, bottle holder uh, for like wine but it's a shoe and here it is so um, I've been very anxious to share this with you um, all of the items used here uh, are mostly of wild orchid crafts. The rest of the embellishments are from my stash. Um, I'd just like to let you know that I use the um, Cream Hybrid Mulberry Paper Tea Roses, uh, the Mushroom Cream Tea Roses, so you'll see that uh, the, uh, the color schemes here is a very pale, faint lavender and cream with some white and ivory I use the trellis roses and the uh, mulberry hip roses, which are the small full bud roses. I use the um, ivory pearl drop tim trim around, and I will definitely point that out to you because I also cut it up and did different things with it. Um, I also use my favorite, the white pearl sprays, um, the calla lilies, and the floral foundations that are in the lavender color as well and all of the um, items, like I said, that were used uh, in this project will be listed in the drop-down box below that are of wild orchid crafts. Um, I'm just going to move this over. I'm, I'm using a tripod, and I'm, I'm sorry that you saw some of that. Um, Try to drape that off with some fabric so it would look clean. Um, I'm just going to move this over so I can share that with you. Okay. So, isn't that so beautiful? I am not using that as a wine holder. Oops. But I I will show you, though, in the event that if it were to be a wine holder, that is how it would appear on a table. It was this really blue fabric that was on there, like I showed you, and some red trim. It wasn't anything that I would keep, and he knew that I was going to do something with it, so I was really surprised when I saw it. So um, I'm just going to show you it, it head on because I do uh, feel that this uh, is one of the nicest pieces that I've made yet by far uh, for um, quite a while. I'm just going to come back here with this tripod and then I'm going to zoom in so that I can show you these flowers. Now, uh, what I wanted to bring to your attention is... Um, these flowers 
a very realistic looking, I have to say. I, 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 I have so much love for them when, when I use them that I use them in combination to just melt between each other. And you can certainly see here, what I had done was, was I ripped off all the fabric down to the bare um, ceramics of it. And uh, I put like this color that's here, cream, um, on the whole shoe. And then I lined it with uh, this here lace, which is of my stash. It's from my mother-in-law. Uh, it's Italian uh, off-white lace. And I used some other lace here in the front. Um, and that the lace is all around the entire shoe. And there's some trim that I had used that was in my stash as well to go around the shoe, which is the Chinese braid. And, of course, the uh, Wild Orchid Crafts flowers. Now, you can see that there's the uh, bud roses there. I just want to make sure we're not blurry here. The uh, bud roses, uh, all of the flowers that I named here, named in the beginning, uh, are on this project. And you'll notice, you know me with the pearls, that there's also a massive amount of scattered pearls here. And... Um, you can also tell, like way down here, you'll see like the teardrop. Those are the Wild Orchid Crafts teardrop trim. I love those because they're very shiny and they're cream. And anything that's cream, I happen to love. And that doesn't just go with crafts. I have a lot of cream clothing, shoes and boots and jackets and such. It's very neutral. And um, as you're coming up along the shoe, you can see that there's the lace and all of the beautiful flowers. There's an array of flowers that I use, which I mentioned, which you can see the calla lilies cascading here, along with the bud roses, blending in with all of the beautiful uh, cream-colored faux pearls. And, um, you know, it's like climbing up the shoe. And um, you have uh, the wild orchid crafts. Um, what is this called here? The, the, the uh, pearl spray. Just beautifully blending in with each other. I want to just turn the shoe around here because it's it's a little different on the other side and in the back. Um, I have some of these um, teardrop charms hanging that I had purchased in a local craft store and I glued some of the Wild Orca Crafts uh, tiny foundation roses on that. Um, I also have uh, the a lot of this um, bunches of pearls uh, tied into a knot with some trim holding it in the center. Um, up on top there I have a very pretty flower that I made out of Italian lace, putting some um, pearls in the center and scattering scattering some, uh, some more of the flowers around. I'm getting tongue twisted, I'm sorry. And when you actually look at the shoe itself from the heel down, heel up rather, you can see that the flowers were started on the left working its way all the way up on into the right, uh, ending with the large trellis rose. I'm just bringing the shoe on this side now. So sorry, I was fixing the, the Wild Walker Craft sign. <laughs> Okay, so now we have um, we have the other side of the shoe, which is also very beautiful because um, what I've done here, I just don't want you to see the mess because it's really messy. Okay, so um, what I've done on this side is, is I have some cascading of some uh, very pretty uh, blush colored feathers um, that kind of come up there on top. And um, I have some very pretty, like, shooting um, crystals there from my stash. Um, there's also some of these, all of the flowers, again, are from Wild Orca Crafts, along with some other embellishments like pearls and, and some crystals and so on. And you can see the Wild Orca Crafts um, trim that I mentioned to you that I had cut up. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get in picture here. There we go. Okay, and I had scattered that all across the bottom and then around the flowers. Very gently done, and um, 
it just it just came out so beautiful when I was doing it it was very relaxing because I was trying to figure out how I can how I can alter this very extremely large shoe it's practically the size of my arm or or a wine bottle and um, I just was going slowly trying to come with an idea now you see the center of the bottle the center of the shoe where the bottle would go was originally gold and I left it that way coming to this side of the shoe now in the front um, I have some feathers here that are cascading at the bottom along with some more of the trim on this side in the front some pearls and um, this the reason why this looks loose is because it's actually glued on to the lace ruffle here and um, then I have a very pretty um, vintage style button in the center there uh, that's also from my stash and I just love the way the front of the shoe looks like. I mean, can you just imagine even wearing this shoe? It would be like a total eye catcher. It's so beautiful. And um, I just love the way it came out. The Wild Oak Craft flowers, without saying, are extremely beautiful. And I do believe that any project that you would use them on would be amazingly gorgeous once it's finished. And um, so uh, if you're interested in getting some of these flowers for yourself, the website that you would need to go to is www.wildorchocrafts.com. And um, they ship to many different places. The drop-down box there, you, have a, um, you can elect um, mostly any currency that you like. Um, they have an array of beautiful, not only flowers, but other items to craft with, whether it's paper crafts fabric crafts or something that you might be making for a gift or for yourself or for someone else or a party um, and um, that is basically it so like I said um, in the drop down box below right here you'll have a list of all of the beautiful flowers that were used um, on this very large altered shoe um, again just to let you know it's the uh, cream hybrid mulberry paper tea roses I'm sorry about that that it fell down, which um, those, the paper tea roses that I'm talking about are these right here. Those are the cream ones. And the mushroom tea ones are the ones that look like a lavender. So that kind of throws you off a little bit. It's a very faint lavender. It's very relaxing and beautiful. I, that's one of my favorite flowers. In fact, I used everything that I had. Whatever I had in that color was all that I had left. And that was the color that I, I wanted to use. I wanted to go um, in that color scheme for this particular project. So um, the uh, trellis roses, we all know what those look like. And I sprayed some glimmer mist on here. Um, the trellis rose is that one. And that is um, FM00519, but I can certainly uh, put that in the drop-down box below. The mul mulberry uh, bud roses are these right here. They're so gorgeous. If you haven't tried them yet, you should. And the pearl drop trim, we all know what that is. They have the pearl drops in a circle next to it. And um, the white spray are the ones that I always use um, in my projects if I can. And those are the, the pearl spray up there. Okay. And um, the pastel tone uh, rosebuds, those are in the lavender color. And I can quickly show you what that is as well along with the cow lilies which are right there and if you can see them they're the teensy weensy itty bitty foundation roses and they are so dainty and pretty that if you have some kind of an, uh, a party or a gift to make they make a beautiful statement um, in your finished product so I'm so sorry I'm trying not to get the horrible part of the desk in uh, for the final viewing um, of the shoe so I hope that you like it. I had a great time making this. I haven't made anything in a while. Um, and I just want to say thank you to everybody for all of your support and friendship. Um, I'm recovering right now, so I'm just moving along slowly. So um, hopefully uh, you will see more of, of my projects, especially for Wild Dwarf of Crafts. Um, while I was um, down and out, I've been sketching and I have some great ideas along with this is one of them um, coming to uh, share with you and uh, one of them is going to take a really long time to get rolling but once it's done you're going to love it. 
So um, anyway, I hope everybody is doing well and feeling great today. And um, I hope to uh, hear some feedback on the shoe from you and how much you love it. And I really appreciate you stopping by watching my videos. So thanks so much for stopping in tonight, everyone. And have a great weekend. Bye.